I insist. Mama C is wrong. How can she expect us to walk under strangers when we should be in charge? My husband. Our rights have been denied. And we must fight for our rights. Yes. I can't be under those fools there. Never. My husband, I urge you to fight. That company belongs to the both of you. Exactly. We must withdraw completely. I don't know about anyone else. As for me, I refuse to go to work. Henceforth. In fact, we all should go on an indefinite strike until our demands are met. That is what we want. It's okay, I've heard your opinion. I've heard what you, what you guys said. Um, my brother and I were actually looking to it and know what we'll do about it. Enough is enough. Understand? You're not saying anything. What would you have me say? I mean, I'm okay with whatever decisions you guys are taking. Hence, it's going to make her release our inheritance to us. It's okay. Good. I'm done with every account to the fields of Maca supermarkets. Okay. Leave it there. Uh, sir, something has been bothering me. Okay. Let it out. Raymond, Anderson, and their wives haven't been coming lately. I wonder what the problem is. Well, their absence from work has been giving me cause to worry. But I've not been able to call Madame Charity to inform her. I couldn't call her because she has been ill. So please, do well to call her to know the situation on the ground. Please. I beg to take it Sure. Uh, I will. Yes, sir. Okay. Close the door behind you. See, I don't do America Wonder for you. This is America Wonder, Marinka. Mm. I want to make you take them so that you go this strong. Dagada, take. I see. Mm? This doesn't look like Moringa. There's <laughs> something else in this thing. Yes, this Moringa revived. Now I'm put Uyayak, Uyayak. I don't know what they record them for increase, but Uyayak will record them. It is good for the body. Uyayak. Is that not somebody's name? No. He did bra, bra. Oh, now you come make and they brag like this. Mercy. Hmm? You talk too much. Sorry. Stand up, stand up. Song, song, small, small. Oh, Jesus. Small, mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. I hope it's not bitter. No, you know they be that. He did like Rift Tonti. Rift Tonti. Really? Rift Ton. That Rift Tonti now, you did like. Right? Okay, yes. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. No, Mama, Mama, see, you need to feed in seats. Okay, I'll feed in seats. Just keep it on the. Mm. Yes, please. Well, you just say you go finish them. I promise. Mati, finish them so that you go with the America Wonder. You go down this strong. Come back to us. Merci. Ma? Get out. Okay, ma. Merci, finish them. Okay, sorry.
is ringing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Richard. I saw head. I'm getting better, thank you. Now are you? Um, how's everything going on in the office? Work is fine. But we are having a little challenge in the company now. Challenge? What challenge, please? Mama, see, your two sons, Raymond Anderson and their wives, they have been absent from work for a week now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why? Did, did anything happen? Oh, oh, did, did, did you upset them or something? No, I don't have any problem with them. I even asked my colleagues if any of them had any issues with them. And the answer was no. It was actually Kate that suggested I should call you. So I decided to call you to intimate you of the events happening in the company. Hey, okay. okay, ma. invited us all here today for us to rub minds and you know look at how the company was run in my absence the work is going smoothly yeah exactly it's moving smoothly you see mom we can't stop thanking god almighty for giving us such a company like crystal table water it's such a good company crystal table water is is something else Telling you. It's something else. I mean, thank God for that, Brad. And now to my daughters in law, is there anything you people would like to contribute? Daniela? Well, our husbands have said it all. Come see. Oh, Mama, see, in all honesty, we haven't been to the office for a week now. I think it's more than a week. What are you saying? Give or take you. Are you kidding me? And you're talking about this like there's no problem with that? Oh my God, I can't believe this. You mean I left the company in your care? And for a week and whatever, you've not been to the office? Oh my God, what kind of children are you? You are irresponsible. Yes, that is what you are. I can't believe this. Um, did you actually invited us here to insult us? And I, I, I know I'm the first son of this family. I, 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 and honestly, I think, Mom, you brought us out here to insult everyone. I'm taking this personal. Is that what you are? Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? Eh? No, this is totally not acceptable. Me body balao, me body whatever. It's not acceptable, and I won't take it. Now tell me, both of you, how you intend to take care of this company in my absence? Remember. I put you there in the first place so you would learn the trade from the beginning. And now you're telling me you did not go to the office? How do you not take care of the rest of my companies when I'm not there? Um, we can. Um, no, you can't. We can even do better than those trades. Way better like that. Way better. Yeah. We're actually professionals. We didn't want to tell you all this why. How can you be professionals in a trade that you've not learned? This is not about what you studied in school. 
It's about practicality. Mom, did you actually call us out here to heap insults on us? I come out, Bali Baroy. Mom, I'm Bali, you made table here for you. In fact, let me make it clear right now. Eh? If I am not going to be the manager of that company, of my father's company, I will never go to that office again no, because I will okay. not work under Richard. Mom, or not possible. So this possible. is my father's company. Yes. You choke a wall under somebody in my uh, father's company. Uh, what the hell? Damn. Uh, it's either you work under Richard or you or you get out. No, mom, what are you even saying? There's no way I can come to that office. It's not possible. The only reason I can come there is when I am being offered with a position that befits my personality. Baby, when you look at me, what do you see? Oh, I, I see the manager. The manager, right? Yes, my love. Well, that's the only position I can manage because if I go for the CEO, um, Raymond will be like I'm contesting with him. So he's the CEO, then I'm the manager. So you see? Well, mom, I mean, you're looking at the manager, so address me as the manager. Which manager? The only thing we've been praying for you to manage is your wife. And you've not done a good job on that. Isn't she looking good? Oh, with my money. Well, I've listened to our husband speak. And I am in full support. We cannot walk on the strangers. I'm talking of my sons. You're talking of you walking on the stranger. You're obviously a stranger here. And you, Obuleke. No, you passed with mom, pass. Mom, not pass. And you're seeing yourself as a they manager. They changed my results, mom. They changed it. If I'm not going to be the manager, mom, forget it. No oh, good riddance to bad rubbish. You're forgetting your handbag. Babe, my oh, manager. I'm sorry. Please. All right, darling. Um, I am no one's you, just stand behind me here, manager. Just, just like we're going to be in charge. All right. We're going to stop producing such a quarter. Oh, excuse my manager, my manager, please. As soon as we resume work, yes, we will yes, fire yes. everyone in the company. Yes, I will fire everyone in the company. No, 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 how on earth could you sign this? How? I don't owe you, nor anyone any explanations on how I run my company. Now you get that into your thick skull. Mom, I'm the first son of this family. Oh, really? Yes. I should be the one saying what happens in that company and not you. Oh, I see. Like, really? Really, Mom? Yes. I am the first son of this family. And I should take over from where my father stopped. Hello, manager. How are you? You know how I told you that Crystal Water Company should be run? Kindly adhere to all the instructions. To the letter. Do you understand me? Better. Mom, this is not good for me at all. This is not good for me at all. You can't be bossing everybody around in this house and in, in the office also. You can't be doing that. You're holding on to my father's will. That small reason is not being read yet. Everyone would adhere to what happens in that company. Do you understand me until your father's will is read? Now will you get out of my sight? Mom, we need to sort things out. You and who? Okay. Since you do not want to leave, I'll leave the place for you. You as an as you go away. Okay, since you don't want to go, I will. I have something in the kitchen. Mom, I, I, I don't like the way things are going on in this house. I am the first son of this family. I still maintain it. I you know it. Mom, I will do a Hold on a minute. Are, are you blocking my way? Mom, I will do a pala. Are you blocking my way? I will tell you if you're or not.
Mom, could see this thing, no. Mom, could see, could see this thing, I don't like it. Don't worry, I like it. I don't know what time it comes. No, you know how to say pass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, that's the case. But every, everything here belongs to me. I should, I should be saying what happens here. Mom, why did you authorize this? Why? This will not happen. It's not going to happen when I'm still alive. Oh, at least you see what I have been telling you, Raymond. Your mother has bitten more than she can chew this time. Julia will not let this lie low. I am not going to allow this happen. I don't even care whose ox is God. Because I am going to take what is rightfully mine. Agreed. Whether she likes it or not. Agreed. Because she's doing everything she can to deprive you of getting your inheritance. But that's okay. Just calm down. Tell me. What happened at the company today? You can imagine. The manager refused signing the money even when I asked of it. Even when I went to the accountant office, mm. same thing still happened. Are you serious? Yes. They emphatically told me that my mother signed this. I, 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 I can't seem to figure this out. You mean she signed she this? She prepared it and signed it. Dear esteemed staffs of Crystal Water Company, it is with deep sense of loss that we regret to announce the passing unto glory of our director, Chief Wilson Okonkwo. As accordingly, everything still remains the same. The company retains its star. Secondly, no money is permitted to leave the company without following due process. That has been approved by the director slash chief executive officer in the person of Chief Mrs. Charity Okonkwo. You... Signed Chief Mrs. Charity Okonkwo, director slash CEO. What yes, you've seen it. When I will start, they will say I'm not behaving like the first child. No, no, no. You are the first son of late Chief Wilson, okay? You are the one who should take over. You are the one who should be in charge. Don't let them tell you otherwise. My mother is just, is just getting on my nerves. They're really getting on my nerves. They don't want to work and earn salary. All they want to do is um, scatter. A business of businesses that my late husband and I took years to build. They just want to scatter everything within a day. <laughs> Even my late husband would frown at like this. It would obviously turn in his grave. I can't allow this to happen. But what, what is wrong with Raymond and Anderson? Why are they so greedy? Nobody wants to work hard. They just want to grab, grab, grab. Life doesn't work. <clears throat> Hello, Barrister Frank, how are you? Well, good to know that you're good. I am equally good. Well, I called to you know, talk about this um, issue of um, of my late husband's will. Please, please, I beg you in the name of God, do not hand over that will to my sons or anyone else. Um, 
That's good to hear. That means you cannot go against a dead man's will. Okay. Thank you so much. Do have a blessed day. So, gentlemen, what do I owe this visit? Um, that's a friend. Thank you so much. My name is Raymond Okonkwo. Seated with me here is my brother, my younger brother, Anderson Okonkwo. We are the sons of Chief Williams. As a matter of fact, the only sons of Chief Williams. Okay. Who's of you, Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, Bert Frank, I am the first son of my father, Chief Williams, and I'm here for my father's will. I want my father's will to be read. Given the fact that uh, it's been like five years that he passed on, we feel the will should be read by now. Well, both of you are here. Asking for your right. It's fine. But your father, Chief Wilson, stated categorically that his will must be read six years after his death. According to him, by then, both of you will be physically and mentally fit to take over. That is just not a word. Paris. I demand that my father's will, Chief Williams, must be great. Mr. Raymond, I cannot go against the will of my client, whether the person is alive or the person is dead. Stop nonsense. What are you saying? All we need you to do is to read the will, and that's just it, and that you must do. Out of this place, please. This is not making sense anywhere. It doesn't make any sense. Where is the problem? I am the first son of my father. And the will must be read. I'll be back. Raymond, you are too cool for my liking. What would you have me do? I'm on it. I'm doing it already. I'm trying to fight for my inheritance. Do you get that? I understand you're fighting for your inheritance. But you have to put in more energy. Apply force. If you don't do something now, I'm afraid you're going to lose everything to that selfish mother of yours. Then what do I do? That's the question. Fight. My husband. Fight for your inheritance. Julian, don't forget that. It's my mother we're talking about here. Mm. You don't expect me to go fight my mother. That would be a very awkward thing to do. Don't tell me you have any plans of letting her deny you of what is rightfully yours. My husband, you have to possess your possession. I'm already doing that. Like this? Come on, Ray. You have to, you have to push harder. You have to apply force, put in more energy. I mean, this house, the company, the shares, they all belong to you. You are the first son of Lake Chief Wilson. What about my brother? Well, you could give him a portion from your inheritance. That's if you wish. This is raising so much dust already, and it's not supposed to be so. Your mother wants it that way. So she should be prepared for what's about to hit her. What I don't understand is why is my mother proving so stubborn? Why is she acting so stubborn? I mean, why wouldn't she just go ahead and release the inheritance so that there can be peace in this family? Why is she holding the whole thing backwards? Why? 
The fact is, I'm actually tired. I am exhausted from this whole chaos that is going on in this family. It's tearing me apart. I have told you what's this. I can't do that. Did you realize that the woman in question here is my mother? The woman you're talking about here is a woman who gave me life. The woman who made me to break today. I mean, it's morally and socially wrong. I, I, I can't go fighting my mother for any reason. I mean, it's unjustifiable for any reason. The same woman that is standing between you and your inheritance. That woman is a witch. Can you just... Can you stop it? Don't tell me what to stop. How dare you refer to my mother as a witch? What has come over you? Please, I, 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 don't, I don't want it. For any reason, don't you ever refer to my mother as a witch. Go on. Go on and protect her. A woman who clearly does not want your happiness. A woman who does not even care how you feel about this whole thing. Go on, protect her. I wouldn't have you refer to my mother as a witch. Not even in this lifetime. You can say whatever you want to say, express yourself in whichever tone you want to, but you going to the essence of referring to that woman as a witch is a slap on my own face. Don't do that, please, I beg you. Okay. If she is not a witch, then tell me what she is. You dare me. Go see. Respect this. Do not push me to the wall. Just respect this. Don't you refer to her as a witch. Please. Anyway, um, whatever this is, I and Raymond will certainly find a way around this whole thing so we can resolve this whole problem of our inheritance. But you calling my mother a witch is a slap on my face and I wouldn't appreciate that. I have always known. I have always known that you are a coward. Cosy! Listen, if you do not go and get your inheritance, forget about touching me ever in this house. You will not enjoy me as a woman ever again. doing my husband's bidding. And these children are already going crazy. What am I supposed to do? Nothing. Just that I have to do what I have to do. Uh -uh. Mama, see, this is not nice now. Eh? Oh, so this is where you're hiding. Anyway, we are here. Shut that trap of yours. Else I'll shut it for you. We are here to get what rightfully belongs to us. And what rightfully belongs to you? The company. You guys are jokers. Both of them. Mom, I am the first son of this family. So I demand that the company is given to me. Let me take over and oh. handle it. Well, the last time I checked, we are the only surviving children of Chief Wilson. We are thinking, is it not time I and my brother here begins to run that company? Except there are other kids or children of Chief Wilson that we don't know about. I'm out here to find peace, not to be disturbed by you both. All right? You will never find peace. You will never find peace in this house because you've murdered the peace. Well, let me, let me, let me ask her. I mean, why do you find it so difficult to let us have our inheritance? Why? Why are you like this? What you should do is to stay back at home and allow us to control the affairs of the company. Is that so hard for you to do? You know, I've given you everything, the best of education. Or for the company. You start from the it's company. remaining the company. You need to go out there and hustle for yourself. I still can't figure out why that old hag should be uptight. Why is she holding on to what is meant for her husbands? We have to do everything we can to get her out. Do we achieve that? Can't you see what's going on out there? That woman is obstinate. 
Why does she feel she can buzz everyone around? Who the hell does she think she is? She is too harsh and unwaveringly uptight. Mama C, you think you can do away with every one of us? <laughs> That's our greatest undoing. She thinks she's unyielding. But guess what? She has just succeeded in shooting herself in the leg. And I will push her into extinction. Cozy, let's join forces. Let's join forces and conquer our common enemy. All I can say is that any witch that is trying to stop me from getting my possession, such witch will surely die. Hey, Anderson, stop that. It's just a prayer that I made. Did you just call me a witch? Mom, that was just the prayer that I just said. If there's a witch somewhere fighting my possession, you that witch should die. A prayerful man will die before the witch. Mom, why don't you just allow us to allow us to run the run the company? You can't run the company. I am the first son. Oh, okay. Mom, the company is ours. We my friend run Anderson, it. shut up. Go to water. Anyway, both of you are not getting anything. I'm sorry. Ah. Touch me again, what's this? Please. Chili, what is... Uh, mm, do I look like one puppy like that? Uh, eh? What is it? What has come over you? What has come over me? Yes, why are you denying me access to your body? Raymond, you're the first son. Yet you're behaving like a woman. Until you know what to do and do it right, you will not touch me. This is not what you need now. Julie, uh, that is what I need now to cool off my head from me. The whole temper, okay? No. You have to give it to me. No, 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 Raymond. I refuse, okay? Go out there, fight for what is rightfully yours. Then you can come back. But for now and ever, if you don't go out there to fight, you can never, ever have a taste of my sugar ever again. Julie, that sugar is what I'm going to taste now because I paid for it and I paid in eh? food. Eh, 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 eh. You understand? The sugar is exactly what I don't need to be shouting. You, I don't need to shout. You paid for it, right? Hmm? You paid for it, right? Where? You paid for it, right? Yes, fool. Oh yeah, come and do now. Let me see. No, come and do. Let me see. Julie, Julie, just stop this word. Boy, you me I can mention. What? What's the meaning of this now? What is this? Stop now. Stop now. You're my wife. You're my Julie. Jerry, let me this thing. Man. Come on. Where, where do you think you're going to? Where Respect you, yourself. Where do you think you're going exactly to? Exactly where I'm going to sleep tonight. Because I don't have time for this nonsense. Don't where, even where, don't want to talk to that. Julie, Julie, I paid for this, and you, and you have to give you have to give it to me, or Julie, come back here. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. Why is Kosi sleeping here? Kosi? Kosi, if you touch me one more time, you wouldn't like what will come out of it. Avoid me. Sorry to disappoint you, it's not Anderson. I denied my husband sex tonight. So, 
I'm here to sleep. I did the same. I told him if he failed to get his inheritance from his mother, he would not touch me or have sex with me again. Same thing I told Ray. I mean, how can men be so soft? Like they are women. They just allow their mother manipulate them because, well, she thinks they are cool-headed. What I don't understand is, why would they give an old woman upper hand in this family? Please, let me just sleep. No more for today. <sighs> Can I go now? Uh, come on, lie in the bed. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't wind me. <laughs> this is not my bed. <laughs> uh. You now bet that person. Okay, now I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to City now. Hey, um, I'm going to buy something. Hey, wait, let's wait. Hey, quick. Come watch your girl. Let me call you back. Ah, uh -uh. Where are you going to? I'm going to buy something for Mama Sue. You're going to buy something? Mm. Yeah. Buy from you. You know? Your money. My. Is it not a money that you hold in the hand? Uh, use it and um, use the change and buy from me something. Because I don't have your strength. Chinaza, be a kene. That Chinaza girl is becoming something else. What did she do? Can you imagine that idiot? She threw away the food served by Mercy to Mama C. I don't understand. But trust me, I gave her two resounding slaps to reset her medulla oblongata. Mm. Black girl. She plays a lot these days. Mm -mm. It's not play. Overfeeding. Where is she now? <laughs> 
She went down the road to go get snacks for Mama C. Snacks? Oh, God. That girl really needs to be checked. I'm sure the, the, the slaps. He has Thank done you. something. I wish I could just squeeze her. Brother, what's you? Hey, you. Brother, what's you? Hey, you. Uh-uh. Hey. Hey. What's your Hey. 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 I used to see you in my dream. Wear me and you used to wear wedding gown. We will dance on my piano. Oh. <laughs> Baba, not sure. It will happen. Don't worry. I will marry you, oh? Brother Obusi, I've told you. Stop saying that we will marry. I don't like it. Look at what we are talking. Stop saying this rubbish. If you finish your secondary school and turn to university, bam, they are who we I will marry you. Don't worry. Have I got you? Sinaza, the bread is fresh, bro. Hey, wait. This hair really looks good. I like it. But I have to, I have to tell them to tint the tip pink for me. Pink? You already have a pink hair, no. You know I don't get enough of pink. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this time around, I think you should do like a deep Could pop. Could I have mask? Each time I see that guy, I feel like just squeezing her and just tearing her to pieces. <sighs> anyway, ombre, ombre roots will look nicer. Sister, you lost interest. Hey! Hmm? Hey, wait! Come on, Adam. Because I see a good girl. Can you imagine? Hmm? I just asked her for something to buy. She bought bread and panta. I'll marry Tinaza. Man, I'll marry Tinaza. Tinaza, I'll marry you. <laughs> I'll take you to Obosi. Don't worry. Just finish his secondary school. Then you enter Upper University. Mm -mm. Yeah, Cambridge. Uh, university. You enter University. I'll come and pay your bride price. You look at Obosi. You go to Obosi. I'll marry you. You're a good girl. Mm? No con. Ah, Tinaza. A marinade to oh, be grow you, it's not be grow Finished. <laughs> you know, see, the last time with me, I don't farm work. Now, that time where I didn't feel this. So, since I can't come back to the city now, I never see farm work do so far. No, they I mean, I'm hungry. Oh, yes. Okay. Go and serve our food and come and dish man. You are hungry? Yes. Uh -huh. Just give me one minute. I'm going to give you food to show me. Yeah? No problem. You can go and serve her. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. Be fast about it and okay. make sure she eats it. Okay. Okay, why would you pour the food that I'm about to eat? You have done this several days, not once, not twice. Are you all right? Mama, see, I'm so sorry. It wasn't intentional. You are sorry. You are sorry. See what you just do. You are sorry. You say you're not intentional. Who do I? What? What is wrong with you? Auntie Kosi, I'm sorry. Sorry for your stupid self. It wasn't intentional. Look at what you've done! Auntie <laughs> <laughs> 
Because the father, he said, I'm sorry. One more word from you. You see the other side of me. What is wrong with you? I think it's high time I handle you my own way. What have you done? You probably did this because you wanted to go and buy snacks and, and soft drink. No. You did mischief maker. I don't even know what to say. If we have spilled my food. Now clear this nonsense and go in there, prepare something for me to eat within the next five minutes. And make sure you clean this place very well. Okay. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, on the other side. Sorry. Bring Bruma back and now. If her feeling is beginning to worry this girl, and she plays too much, it's time we put her in check. I'll handle her my own way. Where is this girl with the broom? Come on, come on, give this there. Wait, wait. Okay. I'm so hungry. That stupid girl. That stupid girl that calls herself Chinas. She threw away the food I prepared for Mama C. Same thing she did mine. That silly girl. I haven't been pissed the way I was this afternoon. <laughs> the idiot only knows how to overfeed herself. Overfeeding is the only thing she has studied. She, she, she overfeeds herself with all the delicacies we prepared in this house. Something she can never even dream of in her father's house. <laughs> the reason Mama C brought her in this house, I don't know. Well, you know Mama C, she picks stray dogs. She will tell you it's for, you know, charity, whatever she calls it. Yeah, that's it. Nothing... This, girl, this girl has parents. Parents, you say? Yes. Our parents are poor. They can barely afford three square meals a day. We need to stop her. <laughs> How do we stop her? We have to send her back. Send her to wherever she came from. Send her out of this house. Kosi, you didn't bring her into this house. So there's no way you can send her out of this house. Because if we do, Mama C will have our heads. So. Oh, Auntie Julia and Auntie Kosi, good morning. Bye. See you guys in the afternoon. Uncle Vasil, good morning. Good morning. What you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to get myself ready. Uncle mm. Kosi. Imagine the daughter of a wretched man being treated like she's a princess. You can actually say that again. It beats my imagination. But you know, Mama C actually gave her the right to what she's doing in this house. What do you expect? She's a beloved, adopted daughter. I just hope she does not have plans of disinheriting our husbands and bequeathing everything to that girl and her wretched parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to imagine it, but trust me, she wouldn't dare. She won't. left her children to fit and is focused on taking care of Chinasa, another person's daughter. <laughs> Who does that? Apparently, Mama C does. <laughs> you know what beats me? That stupid idiot Chinasa. She has the best of everything. 
She attends the best school in this town. Oh, not just the best, but the highest paid. She wears good clothes. She eats good food. No, just explain it to me. What doesn't she give to that girl? She has driven to the office. An old woman who is supposed to stay at home resting while her son stick over. Is now going to the office while her son stays at home doing nothing. Hate is a strong word, but I. That woman, she disgusts me. Our husbands are graduates. She and her late husband practically trained our husbands in the university. No, I can't find some why she wouldn't allow them to take over where their father left. It's pretty simple. She wants to be in charge. How old is she again? <laughs> A woman who barely accepts that she is old and weak. Don't call her old in her presence. Else, she will descend on you. Well, <sighs> Mama C, we shall see. into my office. Are you an idiot? I don't understand that badge into your office no more. Come on. I just came to get my inheritance from you. I don't think I like this this frame. I'm gonna change this frame soon. I demand an apology. <laughs> Apologies about what precisely? Well uh, mom I don't know why you're too dramatic. Why do you like this drama kind of lifestyle? Well, you should have known that by now that I can't leave this office if you don't give me what is mine. Like, I'm not leaving this place if I don't get my right share. I said, I demand for an apology. Come on, Mom, why are you sudden this way? You know that I and my brother should be the one running this company. You're too old for this position. Just look at you. You should go to the mirror and watch the mirror and see yourself. You're too aged for this. As a matter of fact, where you're sitting right now should be my position. I don't even know why you're, why you're just... You know, the, the age doesn't really matter. Now, I'm not claiming to be young, but... Son, my brain is far more intelligent and active than you and your brothers put together. You know, if I allow you people to take over this company, you know what's going to happen in the month? Mm -hmm. The company is going to sink um, like a red ship. Um, um, I mean, look at you. Because you just bought a new pair of canvas. You go around lifting up your leg. I watch you. The way you take your strides, that shows how little and fickle minded you are. This way, this is one of the dividends of a future manager of a company. I mean, just look the way I'm looking. I'm looking. This is the same I'm going to be dressing to office. That shows I'm going to do well. You should have given us the opportunity to run this company so you can see how competent we are. I mean, we can even leave this company from where it is now and take it to some kind of international standard. Do you get it? International standard. I can't leave this office if you're not giving me my inheritance. And besides, when I take over this place, I'm going to put my picture here in the middle and uh, my wife's picture there, then um, my brother's picture there and his wife's picture there. Don't even go any farther. Because this wall behind me won't even accept your pictures. Where do you think you're headed? Oh, Charlie wants to go and bring him Chinaza back from school. What is she to this family? I mean, who is she to this family? I think you should go ahead and ask Mama C that question. Because I practically have no answers to it, okay? Oh, bossy! Come here and fast! Lock the gate and get me the keys. Fast. Why? 
propose. Look, she knows I will be stranded in school. And she doesn't know her way around. Who cares? Do we look like we care if she gets lost? You know what? Nobody gives her hoots if she gets missing, if she's dead, or anything happens to her. I thought you wanted to go. Carry the car, take it across, and just drive out. Do your job. Eat your job. What, what, what is this madness all about? Who does need to do my job, which I'm paid for? Ah. Oh, boss. Yeah. I'm supposed to go bring Chineza back from school. Now, okay. this. I won't do this one now. Now, they can't lock the gates. You don't know, you lock them. Okay. Okay. Forgive me, sir. Tell me, say, see what thing they have for that. No, no, no. And you don't reach school wrong, so go collect the key. Which key? Go collect that. That's it. Ah. Go collect the key. Cow. Go collect the key. Shinaza. Okay. Go go. If I go collect, I know you give them. Go, 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 go collect it. You know, the idea of opening up a sachet and table water company was entirely mine. Unfortunately, your father bought into the idea. Wow. And here we are today. Oh, interesting. Ah, what a good story. And you and your brother think you can walk in here and take over what you know nothing about? Is it possible? You know what, Mom? I think you're going to make a good storyteller. Why don't you go into script writing or something? You can actually work with Nollywood. I mean, that's where you have great potentials and not on that seat where people like us should be sitting. I mean, you can go to Nollywood. I've got some few friends that you can talk to that can employ you and you write for them. Such a good story. Well, like you said, you brought up the idea of the company and our late father bought into the idea. By all facts, he funded the company and he grew the company to this might where it is at the moment. And then he died, he passed away. So automatically, we as his living sons or children should be the ones running the company and not you, the aged wife. You know, you're not even going to get me upset. So if you can kindly leave my office, I'll appreciate that. I have a lot to do. Are you here, you say I didn't hear you. I should leave my office. No, no, talking to the future manager of this company. You shouldn't be talking to me like that. I mean, you know, there comes a time where you want me to give you some stipends, to take care of yourself, to help you get to... Oh, come on. Hello, no, no, no. DPO. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm actually at the office. You, you promised to fix it. Yes. Um, yes, I... It will be... A good one if you... But you know, it's not even smart enough to know that I'm not calling you. Shh. Oh. All right, manager. You said you want 10,000 cattles of uh, a bottle of water at your shop, right? Okay. That's not a problem. You'll get your water. All right? Well, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, my God. Hello, madam. Good, good afternoon. May I help? To me, by this time of the day, wow, what happened? Oh my god, Basil actually dropped her first thing this morning and it was meant to pick her up. Anyway, not to, not to, not to worry, I'll, I'll handle this, okay? Thank you. Bye. <sighs> what kind of nonsense is this? You still at school at 4 p.m. Hello, Basil. Good evening, ma. Good evening. How come you've not gone to pick, pick, pick Nasa from school? No, ma. It's not my fault. It's um, uh, Juliana and Kosi. They practically locked the gate and embargoed me from going to pick uh, Chinaza from school. Are you kidding me? 
Why ever would they do that? I don't even know what to do, ma'am. I'm confused. Okay. I'll handle this. I will. I'll go to school and pick her up. Okay. I'll sort it out when I get back. Yes, Good my evening. darling. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, Mama C. I've waited for Kubasio since 2 p.m. with this mist. I thought to know Ave. So sorry. Something came up. What? Well, something that is not entirely his fault. That's why he couldn't make it. I hope it's not something serious. No, 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 no. Not something we cannot handle. So how was school today? Great. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Okay. So, we head home? Okay. Alright. Monasi. Yes, dear. We were taught something in school today. And what was that? Mama, what can the devil do to a human being? <laughs> That's a big question. A lot. The devil steals, he destroys, and then he kills. That's what he does. Mama, see. Yes. What if I tell you there is a devil in our house? Are you kidding me? I'm not. It's not just the devil, but two of them. And they have one agenda. To kill you. To kill me in my own house? What? Mama How do you see. mean? Yes. You know, that day I threw a lot of food and to mercy served you. Uh-huh. <sighs> Julian want to kill me in my own house. Whatever did I do to her? You know, she's the number one devil in that house and her mission is to kill you. Whatever for? And the second time I threw away the food and Mercy was coming to serve you. Yes. to go and feed the dog the food and once the dog eats the food and dies know that there is a real devil in that house I can't believe this both my daughters in law want me dead in my own house this is incredible Namasi. oh my god you know their plans will not work so far as I'm in that house they will not succeed you will not die you will not. God takes care of his own people. Yeah, Mama see you know, you are a good woman with a heart of gold. So nothing will happen to you, okay? Amen, amen. Amen. You know, you took me as your biological daughter. You 
do you do oh I don't know how to express it no Mama see I love you so much I love you too you know sometimes God puts people in our lives to help us Mama see yes. I want to tell you something what anytime you hear me singing Tem 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 for Jesus anytime you feel the sound then you hear me singing Tem 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 for Jesus mm -hmm. no there is danger you are so smart. Smarter than most people your age. Mama said, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Nothing would happen to me. God will keep taking care of me. Amen. Why is life like this? I poisoned the food. That stupid girl I threw away that day. Mama C would have just eaten it and died. What? Hold on. Are you saying you added some substance into that food? Yes. I wanted Mama C out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's funny? I also added some poisonous substance into the food mess I was going to serve Mama C. But Chinaza also threw it away. <laughs> you did not. I wanted Mama C dead so that my husband can inherit his inheritance. You know, since you and I have a common goal, we could just join forces in taking Mama C out. But what do we do? Since our plans to poison her to death has failed, I think we should re strategize and send her out. We can even cause physical fracas. Mm. By that, I mean we can engage in physical combat. You have a point. Yes, you do have a point. We could just join hands and beat her to death. This is exciting. No, 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 no. Then the law will come after us for murder. Oh. oh. Once again, you have a point. Yes, I think I know now what we need to do. We will launch an attack first thing tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Do you know of any native doctor that can help us finish her up? Huh? Yes. It's still better than fighting her to death. supposed to go to work with. What's the meaning of that? No, man. That's why you're shouting my name like that Excuse early this morning. Me? Shouting your name? I'm reporting something important to you and you, 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 you say I'm shouting? Mama, Are you crazy? Actually, you're ranting. Shut up. Shut that trap of yours. How dare you talk to me in that manner? Are you stupid or something? Your wife went away with my car and you're calling me ranting? Don't try that anymore. Do not call me ranting. Mom, for your information, I am the first son of this family. Oh, there we go. Okay? I own everything here. So my wife has the right to drive any car in this compound. Really? Your wife? Mom, yes, really. Let me tell you something. You see, you, your wife, and every other person in this house has no right and will not insult me in my own house. Do you understand me? Mom, if I'm with your Bala of this family, okay? I own everything. The company, the house, everything. Even in an anonymous this place is mine. I will be the one to say what will happen. So my wife has the right to drive any kind of this compound, any kind of company to use anything. One million live for Bonasolia in this place. Okay, why forgive me, Papa? My wife. Julian, I'll tell you something. Papa Julian, to be very careful. 
Because when I start, she had better be ready for the war. Ina kweli fi na koko nyala. Not kine bonyala. Oh, but that is what you are. It's not until you wear your undies and go out to the marketplace, Steve Bonyala, who fought on no no no, Apwala, and you're one of them. Okay. 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 By the time I'm done with you, he has to He gave you ah! He gave you ah! darling definitely I don't but right at this moment I'm just driving round and round in circles I don't even have a destination in mind <laughs> you know what babe I am definitely going to deal with that woman since she has sworn that I would not have rest then definitely she's not gonna have rest that woman must die guess what I've gotten back at her today she doesn't even know what I'm thinking tomorrow hmm Ah, ah, my darling, I'm driving. Okay, I'll call you later. And I'll soon be at home shortly. Okay? Uh -huh. See you soon. Bye. Ah. And where do you think you're coming from? Come back. Ah! I'm talking to you. Stand here when I talk to you. Old witch. Did you just touch me? Oh, you're so stupid. Look at you. You went out with my car, knowing fully well I needed that car to go to the office this morning. What is your problem? And you expect me to answer that question? No, no, no. Do you actually expect me to answer it? You know what? Fine. Let me grace you with an answer. Mm. I went out. Meanwhile, what are you still doing? No, no. Let me ask you mine in return. What are you still doing here, old witch? Why don't you just... Die, die, once and for all, so that my husband can possess his possession as for son. Please, die. Ah. What did you just say? Yes, Mama C. Please die, let us bury you and rest. <gasps> your mates are all dead. Why are you still alive? Mm. <laughs> and let me eat party jollof rice. Uh -huh. I will grace you with an answer. You see, you both, you will definitely die before me. <laughs> oh, yes. Mark my words. You think you can come here and intimidate me in my own house? Are both of you not old enough to have your own homes? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you to not be here? old enough to also leave the property for your sons? What, what is this? Property is what something is this? I worked hard for. What have you ever brought to the table in this house? Huh? Nothing. You see the kind of wives you people brought to my house? Oh, you think they are dealing with me? They will definitely deal with you, one after the other. Oh. I am for your information. I have a recorder in this house, recording everything you're doing. So you're when the time is right, uh -huh, I will deal with you. See so you're shaking. See so you're shivering. Oh, excuse me. My hand back. Forgotten my hand. Oh, take it. Give, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things! <laughs> I'm not a chicken. 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 i to spew bonkers before Mama C. You don't know her, right? Raymond, what's this? I know they will. Raymond, what's this? Well, what's what? You started behaving like a woman once again. What is this? You don't know Mama C. Man up as the first son of this house. You don't know Mama C. Man up as the first son of this house. Stop behaving like a don't woman. Don't worry, don't worry. 
<laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mama said that's dead. <laughs> oh my god, you guys don't even know what you're talking about. See, Mama said has been confirmed dead. As I speak to you right now, she's in the morgue. Chinaza Ambassador has confirmed that they saw her dead themselves. We just saw her now. As a matter of fact, she was fully dressed. She drove out with her car. Chelogodi, Chelogodi. Which one? Which one are you talking about? The one lying dead in the hospital? In, in the mortuary? Uh, it, it, she dressed, dressed, drove with her car. out. She was dressed mm -hmm. and drove out with her car. Mm -hmm. Mama, see? Whatever this is, I am not in for this. I've heard stories about ghosts tormenting houses and disturbing people around, but that's in the movie. But clearly, if Mama C is around, or rather, if her ghost is around this house, disturbing anyone, that means whoever that killed Mama C should be in this house. Oh, what are you talking about? Who must have killed Mama C? Or who wants to kill Mama C? More reason we should go to the morgue to find out what killed Mama C. Oh. 